Good morning, guys. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than the original day in the live video that I had planned for you guys. I am home from work. I have already been home from work for one week and it looks like I'm gonna be out of work for another two weeks. I am a public school teacher and so because of the coronavirus, um, school is not in session, but I am still working from home. So this video is gonna be a little bit different than I originally intended, but I still thought it would be great to show you guys what I'm doing at home to stay busy. And then in a little bit, I'm going to show you a unboxing video of some really cool YouTube equipment that I'm gonna be using to film some of my videos. I'm gonna be pumping out a lot more videos now that I am home from work and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you do. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. And let's go ahead and get started. So I just spent like the last probably like half hour, 45 minutes on a conference call with my coworkers. Um, we were just trying to figure out some stuff for school and everything since schools are closed. But um, what I'm gonna do now is show you guys, I have an unboxing that I wanna do of some YouTube equipment that was kindly sent to me by a company. And then I also wanna show you guys some of the stuff that I already have that I like to use um, for filming in case any of you who are watching are aspiring YouTubers or maybe you're just looking for some new gear or something like that. I just think it's kind of helpful. I watched a lot of these videos when I first decided to dive into doing YouTube and stuff. So I thought that this would be really helpful. So let me show you a few of the things that I like to use and then we'll get to the unboxing. Okay, so the first thing I have here is a selfie stick, which seems kind of silly, um, but honestly, I don't know, like I use my phone for a lot of filming, so I don't know what I would do if I didn't have this. It just makes it really easy to like hold the camera and stuff and it not be very shaky. So this works like if you're in a pinch. Um, I don't know that I'd necessarily like go around vlogging with this or anything like that. It's kind of big, but it does the, it does the job. And then the other thing that I wanted to show you guys is the tripod that I have been using. So I just pulled it out here. I'll stick it in the middle of my kitchen so you can see it. Um, so I ordered this off of Amazon and it's really awesome because it has, so first of all, it has a mount here for my phone so I can stick my phone in here and do filming. And then here at the top is a place for you to attach a ring light. So I'll show you the ring light that I use in just a second. I don't always leave the ring light on here though because I don't always need to use it for filming, but this is an amazing tripod. 
I would say even if you're not a YouTuber, even if you're just somebody that enjoys like filming or maybe you have like kids that you film like sporting events or performances, I mean, if you guys have an iPhone or like an Android or a really good phone that has a camera, then um, this works perfectly. It just holds your phone and you can twist it like if you want it this way or you can twist it so you can have it this way as well. Um, so let me show you guys the ring light that I use on the top of this. Okay, so here's the ring light. Let me show you, let me untangle it and show you how it works. So first of all, it has this attachment here at the top. Like I said, this is where it would screw into the top of the tripod. Um, and then it has this remote. So once you plug it in, you have to plug it into a power source, obviously, but it has a remote. Um, so you can change the, um, brightness, like brighter or not so bright, turn it on and off. And then this button here in the middle, it cycles through all the different colors. So if you wanted like a cool tone, um, light or a warm tone light or, things like that. And this is not very big. I think this was the eight inch ring light. So again, I don't really use it that often, but um, it does the job when I need just like a little bit of light if I'm filming. So if you guys don't know, I'm actually uh, a music teacher. And so my degree is in music. And so I've had this microphone for a really long time. I've used it for a lot of different things. And now I use it for my voiceovers, which I really love. And this is the blue snowball microphone. You can find it on Amazon. I will link it in my description box for you guys as well as all these products so you guys can order them on Amazon if you want. And then let me turn it around and show you like the back of it. So it has these different settings and um, you can read more about it, but each one of the different settings is for depending on how far away or how close you are or if you want to pick up background noise or eliminate background noise. This um, microphone has a ton of different settings and it's on a little tripod here so you can like lower it and raise it and um, like here you can raise it and stuff like that. So I love it. It's a USB. It just plugs right into my computer. It's super easy for my voiceovers and I love it. Okay, so the next thing that I wanted to show you guys, I'm so excited to try this. Um, this was kindly gifted to me by um, a company called Usky Vision and this is their iSteady Mobile. It's a like handheld gimbal for smartphones. So basically what it is, is like a giant selfie stick, but this thing has like super, super cool features. So I wanted to kind of show you and take you through unboxing it and show you guys kind of what it looks like. Okay, so when you pull it out of the box, it comes in a case that looks like this, which I think is really nice. This makes it really easy to store too. Sometimes um, one of my biggest problems with like technology and different equipment is it takes up so much space, but this takes up almost no space at all. And it's in a very like protective case. Okay, so once you open it, it comes with a few different things. So I'm gonna show you all of the different pieces. So first it comes with the little tripod base for you to set it up. And it just has like the little screw piece so you can screw it onto the bottom of the gimbal. It comes with the little USB so you can charge it and things like that. And then it comes, of course, with the instructions. And then this is the device itself. So this is super cool. Um, I'm going to show you, and I'm gonna turn it on for you just a second and show you how it works. But um, looking at it, it's basically a giant selfie stick. So of course you can take the tripod and you can screw it onto the bottom. And this is probably how I would use it the majority of the time is just quick set it up on a tabletop to do some filming and stuff like that but um, you could also carry it around for like a vlog, a vlog style um, video, kind of like what I'm doing right now. So um, I'll show you guys kind of like what all the buttons look like here. So this red button here is the on button. Let me show you what happens when I push it. Okay, so it has a, um, it has like an axis. And so like you can kind of see like it's moving on its own. Now, ideally you want your like smartphone to be in here because with the smartphone in it, it would stabilize and it would hold itself upright like this. So then you'd be able to vlog. Obviously I'm using my phone right now to film so I can't show you exactly how that works. But when the smartphone is in it, then you're able to like film. And so then each of the buttons on this device kind of help control like how it pans and how it tilts and things like that. So first of all, there's, th there's four lights here which show you the battery life. So you just give it a tap and it will tell you how much battery, which is really nice. Um, it will also tell you when you download the app to use with this. It will also tell you in the app 
um, how much battery life is left as well, which is really helpful. Um, so each of the different buttons on here does something different. So let me kind of walk you through these and what they do. Um, so this right here, it's kind of like a joystick. That's basically to tilt up and down. So if you're using it, you can tilt the camera up, down, left, or right. Pretty standard. Um, this one here is your zoom in and out. So obviously push it up for a wider view, pull it down, and that's your zoom in, zoom out. And then there's all these different modes here. And I was just reading about them in this little handy manual, which I like. And each of the different modes does something um, different. So let me kind of walk you through what each one of these do. So you push it once and it's a pan follow. So it will tilt and it will, the camera will move really smoothly as you move the device, which is really nice. Then there's a, um, you double tap it and there's a pan and tilt following. So the, cape, the camera uh, is able to move up, down, left, and right. If you triple tap it, it is all locked, which means that the camera just stays where it currently is. So no matter where you move it, it's gonna stay locked. It's not gonna pan and tilt as you move, it's just gonna stay in its locked position, kind of like a selfie stick. And then if you tap it four times, um, then everything will follow, tilt, pan, everything. Um, so what I really like about this device in particular, or the idea of it, is it would be great for filming stuff that is moving because as you're like panning back and forth, I feel like it would do such a good job if you were filming like a sporting event or something because your camera is staying very steady. You're just moving it slightly and the camera is holding steady as it follows whatever is moving. I think that this is brilliant. I'm really excited to try it out for vlogging and see how well it works um, like as I'm holding the camera up. Maybe I'll stick the camera in and show you guys in just a minute kind of how it works but I'm also very excited to try it out with this little tripod here, stick it in the bottom, and then I can do some filming that way as well. So thank you to Usky Vision for gifting me this, and I'm very excited to give it a try. So now I'm just gonna do a quick little tidy up of the kitchen and make myself a snack because I am super hungry. snack it is a beautiful day outside today and my original plan was to finish up a couple of home improvement projects so I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek here because um, if you guys didn't know I'm gonna be coming out with my spring home renovation series my hope is to have the first video up by next week and then there's probably gonna be at least three if not four parts in the series so you don't want to miss out but I'm gonna include a little sneak peek here in the vlog for you guys so you guys can kind of see what it is that I'm gonna be up to it's gonna be like 70 degrees today, so it's a perfect day to get outside and get some stuff done. So let's go ahead and do it.
hot outside, I had to stop um, like painting and doing the work that I was doing because it was honestly just becoming too much. It's like 75 degrees. It's supposed to be like the high is 80 today. And for where I live in March, that is legitimately crazy. So I had to take a break from the outside. Plus the bees were like everywhere and I was like getting nothing done. So I'm going to take a break and I'm going to do a little bit more work and some editing. And then in a little bit, I'm going to get started on dinner and I'm going to show you guys what I'm making tonight. It's going to be so good. I'm an epic fail and forgot to end this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys really soon in a brand new video. Bye guys.